Hi, my name is Lisa Smith. I am a speaker, trainer, and founder of Customer Connect, where we help small and micro businesses get their email marketing done and done well. Today I want to talk about why having a small email list rocks. Now there is a myth out there that uh, an e my email list is too small, I can't get started yet. And I talk to a lot of business owners who feel this way. I'm just not ready, I have to build my list. That is a myth. Any list is the right size for starting with email marketing. Um, now there are two truths um, that replace that myth. First truth is there are people who love you and they love your business and they are the ones you want to start with. It could be your mother, it could be your uh, most um, loyal customers. These people are a great place to start with sending your emails. Plus you have a chance to kind of get your feet wet in the medium and with people who are a little more forgiving. The second truth I want you to remember is that raving fans grow your business. Now, it's a fact that if you invite people to join your list, about 57% of them will actually sign their, give you their email address. That's a great percentage. Imagine 57% of your current customer base. That's a decent sized list. Your list can be a lot bigger probably than you think it currently is. Also, be sure and have a way to collect email lists on your storefront, on your desk, and when you're on the phone with clients. Always be asking people. On the email signature uh, of your regular, you know, Outlook emails, um, be sure and always invite people to join your list. Now, raving fans will also spread the word for you. They will um, um, forward the email to friends and so forth. So, there are really three advantages to having a small list. First of all, you really know your customers. When you have 25 people on your list, you know exactly who they are and you probably know a lot about them, their personal lives as well as their business preferences. So, you can target your message specifically to them. And that's what makes an email valuable to people, is when they get information that they value. Second advantage to having a great list is you can ask more of people who love you. You can ask them to share your email with others. You can ask them to like you on Facebook. You can ask them to do these things and they are more likely to do it for you because they love you so much. And because they have so much value from your business and so much value from your emails. And the third advantage to having a small list is this sense of exclusivity. People love to feel like they are part part of a club, part of something that is special. And you can nurture that feeling with your small list. That also helps people to want to talk about you and spread the word for you. So, in conclusion, no list is too small to start emailing. And in fact, email and social media are the best ways to grow your list. So be sure and start now, don't wait another day. This is Lisa Smith saying, no list is too small, happy emailing.